you played a role that you Uh-oh. were a pure asshole, brush. <laughs> look, I, look, I knew it was coming. Yes. Great. <laughs> you ever seen uh, Why Did I Get Married? Bro, I hated y'all. I'm like, I was a like, dude. I'm like, nigga, why you was talking to her like that? And it was yeah. a Jim Scott too. How Come tough on, was man. that to put you to? I'm like, how could that? That yeah. was hard, bro. That was hard. To yeah, watch. it was. Um, it's one of those roles. I actually turned it down three times. I really didn't want to wow. play that guy. I really mm-hmm. didn't want to play that guy. It was mm-hmm. one of those things where. I knew people like that, and I always say, look, there's an abusive guy in, in, in every man, you know, because we were taught to see women a certain way, which was a lie. So I understood, I, I knew people who thought like that, and growing up, not, not abusive in the way where they're talking about their women, but they looked at their women a certain way. Mm-hmm. And when you're, mm-hmm. when you're with uh, the fellas, you'd be like, oh, yeah, well, that girl, blah, blah, blah. And you're talking about them like they're nothing when they when they're really special, mm. when all women are mm-hmm. special. So I, I really didn't want to portray that portray that on the film and be like, ah, look, I know it's a need to show that side, but I don't want to play it. Mm. And I tell you, I had to, it was one of those things where I prayed to God and said, look here, God, if you really want me to do this thing, I need three things, this, this, and this. And I tell you, mm. not within three minutes, my agent calls and said, okay, this is their last offer. They're going to offer you this, this, and this. And wow. To the T. To the T. Wow. Tea. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. So, and that's why I accepted the role. Just because I was in prayer. I mean, it was a They really wanted time. you. They they really wanted me. Can I, can I, can really I tell you how you, they wanted you so bad? Because you played an asshole a little bit as, as Slim in the wood, too. <laughs> <laughs> Slim was, yeah, but I mean, Slim was Slim just doing Slim. No, but he was slick. He was slick with that tongue. He, he, he didn't back down when he came to a woman. You know what I'm saying? Slim no, was just Slim was just like just keeping it real with Ro. So Roland was like tripping. So I was like, look here, man. Let's get married. Let's do this thing. I was just trying to be straight with him. With with, with Mike, he was kind of like. Let me tell you something. I, I'll tell you, Jill made it even even better. She was so brilliant in that movie. Mm-hmm. She made yeah. my character even worse. I remember, because I was like, yeah. you know something? I'm going to play it real subtle and kind of throw things away. And she was so good. I remember seeing, like, uh, Tyler invited us over to the house and said, you got to see a cut of the movie. And I remember mm-hmm. seeing it for the first time. I was like, oh, I'm going to be hated in this thing. <laughs> Nobody's. I, I was afraid to take my wife to the premiere. I was like, oh, she's going to hate me in this thing. Yeah, I'm like, oh, she gonna look at me like sideways, and uh, she actually thinks it's one of it's one of her favorite roles because it's so different than what I am. Uh-huh. She was just, she was like laughing the whole time. She was like, I can't believe you played this guy. Well, Don, I don't know if any of them ever played a role where fans took it too seriously. Like, Lee oh. ever played a role where somebody saw or Mike or or or, or Rich? I had to, I it. had to change my number after that. <laughs> Man, listen, I had to go into hiding after Omar killed Stringer. Really? Yes. Look, I had to do the same I after know. Mike. I had to do the same <laughs> after Mike. Fans, oh, wow. that's it. And the Mac. I mean, the social media was around back then. Was it? Was was it? Was it that hot? No, no, no. Was that hot back then. No, it wasn't that hot. It wasn't hot like it is now. It wasn't hot like that. Had that now? Forget about it. Oh, forget, forget about, about it. it. Like you know, Mike was, was like, ask- Mike was like crucified. I went to a Jill Scott concert. I went to Jill's concert. She asked me to come and pray for the band and everything. Literally, yeah. every woman was like, "How you gonna be here with Jill?" <laughs> like I was like, mm-hmm. I was there with my wife. I'm getting like smacked in the chest. Oh God! I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? So so so. But, so yeah, Mike, but Chris, Chris, and, I was, was asking Chris. I, 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 I was asking the question. Okay, go on, bud. Okay. How, no, go, like, go, go, you, go, um, Michael. Rich, did you when you was playing Mike, did you have any um, did you have any like um, any residue that you had to like deal with, like internal mm-hmm. residue from that from the character? It, it, that leave any any like they stink on you? Like how how'd you wash that off, man? Because I, I went through something with an abusive yeah. character. I yeah, want we, to hear what you gonna, think about into, that. Yeah. Uh, every night, every night I had to wash it off. I literally washed him off every single day. I was like, look. So I would apologize after every take with Jill. Like, mm. so much so, she was wow. like, look, stop. You know, she was, but it was so not me, and I didn't want it to even think, I didn't want people to even think it was me. Mm. But mm. every night, I would have to, I would literally 
have to take off that care. I would take a shower and say, okay, he's going down the drain as long with the soap. <laughs> 